The total number of hospitalizations are down again. It's interesting to look at the curve, how fast we went up and how relatively slow the decline has been. Uh, that shows you the problem of having a spike. Spike happens quickly, but resolves slowly. Net change in hospitalizations is down. Net change in intubations is down. Number of new cases per day is also down, 400, which sounds like a large number, but this is on a statewide population of 19 million, 50,000 hospital beds. The number of lives lost, 157. That number has been uh, stubborn. You can see May 10th, it was 161, and these are all basically uh, in the margin of error, if you will. <clears throat> this system is not that precise. I believe when they actually go back weeks from now and calculate the total number of deaths, at-home deaths, et cetera, you'll see a variation in this number. Again, we're right about where we were when we started, we just don't want to make sure we don't go back to uh, the hell that we've gone through. And when we talk about reopening, that's a discussion. We have half the state now in terms of regions, which is now in the process of reopening. We have a dashboard that tells people uh, where their region is, what's going on, what the hospital rates are doing, what the infection rates are doing, so everyone has information to inform themselves and to have conversations with their local government. We have a smart phased reopening plan uh, that has been reviewed by uh, great experts in the field, and we feel very good about that. Uh, we're getting a little more nuanced in our analysis uh, looking for economic activities that you can start without crowds and without gatherings. Remember the, the problem here are crowds and gatherings. So what can you do or what ec economic activity is willing to reopen without a crowd, right? They're talking about this in terms of sports. You can have baseball without a crowd, but it can still be televised. Uh, great. You can have economic activity without a crowd, that's great. Uh, we can do that in this state with horse racing tracks, uh, and we're going to do that. There'll be guidelines for the actual participants, but no crowds, no fans, but for the industry itself, for the televised viewers, uh, that can still work. That is also true with Watkins Glen, that can operate, uh, and uh, there's a big viewership for Watkins Glen. I may take my car to Watkins Glen. I've done it before. I can do it again. Wear a mask in the car. I don't even have to wear a mask in the car. 